All right, boys, this is the intro to the intro. Everybody that's watching, I need you guys to do me a favor. We've been going pretty hard on the channel. We've been building a lot of cars. I just need you guys to subscribe to the channel, share the video, share one of your friends. That way we can grow the channel. That way I can bring you guys way more content. It sucks editing. Like I've, I've got a full-time job here at the shop between going home, editing. All you guys can do, support is free. Just do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and just tell someone else about the channel. That way we can grow it. But let's start this video. <laughs> What up boys, get excited. I got my new camera today. I'm excited to use it and I'm also kind of nervous because I haven't figured out all the settings. I know you can play with like the blur in the background, you can change the color. There's a whole bunch of different options on this camera which is a lot different from what I've been using. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a full shop update. I feel like I haven't filled you guys in on everything that's been going on in the shop. So recently I bought a 22, 20, I'm sorry, 2020 uh, Supra GR launch edition. Uh, my brother's driving it for right now. He's getting his track hawk. I guess like some stuff done to the body on his track hawk. Well, it has BC wheels. The launch edition comes with the red interior. Has carbon mirrors. Car looks really, really good. Basically, it's a BMW. I mean, if you guys know these cars, it's basically a BMW. You jump in it, it feels like a BMW. It sounds like a BMW. But anybody's interested, I am selling my TRX uh, 2022. 4,000 miles paid off. If anybody's interested, shoot me a message on Instagram. And again, bear with me, I'm not used to this camera yet. I'm still figuring out the zoom, the distance, trying to figure out the background, trying to figure out the lighting. Uh, hopefully the sound quality is good, but I know it's a lot better and more clear than my, my, more clear than my other camera. I'll get in the shop, I'll show you guys what we got going on here. I still haven't tuned the white hatch yet. So the white hatch has been sitting on the lift. Um, we just been super busy here, so uh, we are waiting to get a tune. But I figure I'm gonna do a dyno day with that car and my turbo car, which is at Fabwork. I'm contemplating on doing a giveaway on this EM1 for someone to win it. But I'm gonna shoot the car this week, get some photos, get some cool videos, and then just see how I feel about it from there. It's probably one of the nicest cars that we've built here. Uh, I've got a customer's car here. Turbo front wheel drive B-Series. Cars here for corner balance, alignment, and uh, I think set ride height, but the boys are working on the unicorn. Hoping to get the engine in today, so. I'll give you guys a quick shop update on this side too. The green EK is officially running. I got the full exhaust done. The car is on the floor running. The car came out pretty good. Uh, we decided we're just going to leave the car all motor for now to be honest because it's too much of a headache to put the turbo back on and I'm already going to get rid of it so I made that decision. Uh, the car's got to go. I got way too many cars in the shop so the turbo's at precision but I'll use I guess the turbo for a different build but for now I guess the car's all motor. Stock 2.4. Actually the car came out really good. Uh, before I get started Blame my boy Kev in the comments. This dude is dirty. <laughs> sardines though? Sa it just tastes good. Sardines, sardines though? Hershey syrup. Just it was gross, out. bro. When I was re-watching that video, I, I almost wanted to throw up for you, bro. It was that bad. Pick up the hand with no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Look, ma, no hands. <laughs> so we'll give you guys an update on the Phantom Gray hatch. Like I said, Today we're hoping to get the engine in the Unicorn, but I'll give you guys an update on this car. Last time you guys seen it, it didn't have no suspension, no wheels. Uh, they put the rear spoiler on. They got the mud flaps on, rear wheels are on. Still have to set ride height. We got a brand new CSF radiator, Skunk 2 camber kit, duck bill. But this car is actually coming along pretty good. I think it's, we're pretty much almost finished, almost ready to fire, but we're waiting on a few more parts. They didn't even see the like the pro like the progression like they just see motor out. they didn't even see the motor coming out it just all right it was single cam and now it's fucking case. They didn't see the motor out because by the time I got here the motor was already out. I think what it took you an hour crying. fifty minutes to take it the was engine out. The fastest time I ever swapped the car like literally dropped the motor the car was complete when I came in the morning 
drop the motor, cut the post mount, painted, color match painted the frame rail when I cut them out, and put the motor in. That was pretty quick. Check out my boy, he thinks he's a fucking painter now. He did, he painted the side of it. Got so, I like it. <laughs> Yo, this is more complete car. You know what I didn't see? You guys got, you know, all the charge harness ran, headers on. I see half an exhaust up there. You know, you know what, what fucked us again? What? You and fitting duty just ain't it. We can build the cars faster and we get fittings from you. I've been slacking a little bit. I've been slacking on the content. I got the new camera, so I figured I'd try to test it out. I really don't know how this is going to come. I'm hoping everything comes out good. Nobody's blurry here. Hopefully all the lighting's good, sounds good, but I'm not going to know, I guess, till I drop the video. So we're going to World Cup Finals November 1st through 6th and we are going to Fall Nationals September 16th, I think that weekend. It's like 17th, 18th of Why September. Why don't you give stuff in order? What? It doesn't matter. Anyways, we're going to Fall Nationals in New Jersey, Aqua, New Jersey. It's like that weekend of September 16th. So if you guys are in the area, come check us out. I'm going to try to bring my turbo car. It's still apart. And I'm going to try, my brother's going to bring the nitro all motor car. That's, that's lunch. That's food over there. If oh. I go, if I go, this lights out for you. I'm gonna bust that ass. What car are you gonna take? Hey, miracles happen every day. It doesn't look well, like. I'm not going on level one though. And World Cup? Oh, World Cup? Yeah. yeah. That ass. Oh. Full <laughs> well, Nationals, me and you can race the same class, right? We're racing, yeah, Full Nationals, me and you race. If, if I make it, cause huh? My boy J Rock did me dirty. I don't got no cylinder head on my car. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm you guys have seen this car? I think like I think like two nah, months nah, 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 ago, nah. this I'm, cylinder head was off. I'm bailing him out. That's what's happening. Tell tell the truth. All right. Yeah, I, because he doesn't, want you, he doesn't want me to bust your ass. That's why. <laughs> All right. So Jack is gonna bail me out. I'm gonna get the cylinder head hopefully on this uh, this week. I ordered the O-rings. I'm gonna put the cylinder head back on the car. Degree of the cams. But I got like two weeks. The car needs to get retuned. You got uh, two a weeks. Bunch Oh yeah. I got two weeks. No, no. You got, got two weeks. You got two weeks. <laughs> you got you got ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the plan. This car is going to Fall Nationals September, that weekend of September 16th, I think it's 17th, 18th, somewhere on there. Black Nitro All Motor Car will be there. So let's just hope he knows how to drive Nitro All Motor Car. He hasn't been in the driver's seat for quite a minute. What do you think? You think he still got it? I think he needs to grab his balls and just hold on. Last outing in the car, fastest ET in that car was 9-1, I think like 150 something. 9-1, you drove it too. You gonna go eights? Yes, I am, baby. Plan is to go eights at Fall Nationals. He will be driving the car at World Cup Finals on M1 Fuel. If you guys know M1, I think M1, I think what, like 9.30, I think it's like 9.30 something, I think it's fastest time on M1. Do you want to make a bet today or when your car is ready? If I if I go, I'll make a bet for you. Okay. What's the bet? I'll treat you at you, so I don't even take it there. We could, I'll train you and and I'll beat you to the finish. No, you won't. Okay. No, on M1? If you guys know M1, it's super close tight racing. So if someone trees someone, I think bucks. it's over. It's over at the tree. 50 bucks. 100. Okay, 100. All right. Shake on it. Shake on it so it's real. Okay. But if you guys shake on it, uh, if, right, if you go to World Cup. I'm gonna bust that ass. He's like, J-Rock! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but the car cut is it? No, no, no back cut. If we sponsor the car? <laughs> nope. Oh, so now, oh, no. let me make a bet that I need to make the car. Like, I need to make it? I'll take it. I'll take it. You guys will finish the car? Nah. Nah. So, what's the update left to get this car right here running? Uh, we got a wire harness. Uh, exhaust is happening. Wait, you, why are you even going? We're waiting on you. <laughs> yeah, you Come on, I was I trying to get away things. from that. So, okay. wire harness. Wire harness, finish the rest of the exhaust, fittings that you forgot, and finish doing the radiator. It came in today, it's still in the plastic. I don't think my radiator stays going to hold very long, so I'm <laughs> going to make something better than that. But. I think. I think we're gonna have a 300 horsepower car in no time. I feel yeah. like this car is gonna be running faster than the Did SI. You, the setup? you said 300? Me, I'm going on the I'm going on the low end. Why? I like to start low. Did you tell him what the motor is? You can tell him again. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> the engine setup is uh, 88, 99, 12 and a half to one compression. Uh, K24 short block has a K20 head with Jack Cartel four cams in it with a full head package. Uh, Ferrera valves, Ferrera, yeah, I think Ferrera valves, Supertech valve train. But I gotta double check. It might be Ferrera full valve train. But I'm gonna go 300 horsepower on pump gas. More than that. 
I'm gonna say 315. 315? Yeah. I think we were here to send some like, Yeah, we did. Around. Yeah. Like 310, I'd say. I'm gonna go 300 still. But driving, I feel like this car is gonna be finished before the white car. And in to today's video, well, we're the rate that we're going at. They're both gonna be done. At the the same thing is, this car we have more parts for than that car. That car is kind of going kind of slow. Let's go. Let's take a walk to that car. So you guys got the update on this hatch. I'm gonna say like another week. This car will be like fully ready to hit the diamond. The wheel, the wheel to the car. Check it out on the car now. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. How do you feel about it? We're gonna see the car like down and, and ride high too, right? I kind of wanted. I know they don't want it. I will kind of want. Let's hear. Let's hear. He wants TE thirty seven. He TE thirty seven. The first hour is high to say. No, no. That are really nice. No, but. no, no TE thirty seven. Drop in the comments what you guys think about these. Are NK RPF ones fifteen inch SBC color. I personally think we should put a street tire on the back and put a midi R triple eight on the front because the front will drive. I think that looks stupid. When I we say have 13 inch steelies, the originals. Agreed. 100% agreed. And just go have some fun with the car. Because if you guys look at the back of the car, the car the right. car is not down on the floor yet, but you see the tires a little bit more I out. For that. I already sold the steelies. <laughs> <laughs> just like you sold the single cam. But hey, that's the update on the Phantom Gray hatch. I think a couple weeks, you can see some ITV, you see things screaming on a dyno. Well, that means we're going to have my street car on a dyno. Have the nitrous car on a dyno. We're gonna have this car on a dyno. Maybe we could do four cars in one day. Is there one more car? No, I think that was all of them. Oh, this car and the turbo car and the nitro car. Well, we can't do six cars in one day. Maybe wow. we'll get. We just closed down the shop. No, no. Come in anymore. Wait, <laughs> no. Don't worry. I think you're disrespecting Jamie because you know how Jamie tunes. Too cool. Jamie's a savage, but you gotta remember. You know what he's doing. You're talking about a nitro car, which is probably gonna take a long time. Turbo car. Jamie fucking drinks nitro for breakfast, bro. What are you talking about? Jamie, bro, Jamie, bro, if you're watching this, I'm not disrespecting. I am trying to save you some time. I'm trying to make you... They're trying to get you to six cars in one day? Nah. I'm trying to help you out, bro. I know you're getting old, you know? Maybe three cars a day for you? <laughs> you're about to make like 200 now. <laughs> but anyways... We got... Oh, so where we last left off for this car is... If you guys buy engine mounts brand new, they come with hardware. The hardware that came with these were silver. So we had to wait to resend more stuff to Zinc, which we got everything back today. Uh, so we got the engine mounts back, uh, the bolts back in Zinc. Attention to detail, right? Attention to detail with your $700 motor mounts Anything? because you wanted to anodize black because you were picking. I know you guys are kind of upset at me, but I'm telling you, the end result is going to be perfect. You got to be really, really happy with this. I would say something right now, but I made a bet with you guys that I can't cry. You guys blew up the car, but initially you guys blew it up the wrong way. A hydro lock. It didn't kill itself. Anyways, we're past that now. Single cam killers. We put the throttle body on. Um, power steering pump is on. Yeah, that was that's the So the power steering pump is on. Uh, um, throttle body. Belt tensioner. So it's gonna be like OEM. The hoses are on. I like it. Clamps. Got the AC compressor on the floor over there. What are we waiting on to put the compressor on? Um, the AC bracket. What about lines? Did we show lines? No? Yes? We show the lines already. Uh, put the mount, uh, mount on the me, channel. Let me check this out. And then, um... Oh, no, I don't think oh, we the showed mount, them. The the, uh, no, I don't think the AC lines were ran the in the mount, engine the bay. The AC line was on. Yeah. So, for everybody, I know, I know I've seen some comments, somebody said show the lines. So, this is a hybrid uh, racing kit with uh, EK condenser. So far, it seems like it's gonna work. We're gonna put it in the car, put the motor in the car, and see how the line. Let goes. me. I'll tell you guys something real quick. So, for those of you guys who want to put AC in a case swap hatch, Hybrid Racing sells two kits, and I still haven't figured out what the other two kit. 92, 93 is one kit. 94, 95 is what we got. Is another kit, and then the condenser I think is the same for all of them, which is 96 through 2000 Civic factory condenser. So that's what we got here. And then we put all like the factory stuff. What Jordan, what do we use for like the factory parts off the car? Uh, it uses the factory dryer with all those lines. Um, the only lines that get replaced are the ones going to the compressor and one going into. So this line right firewall. here is still stuck. Yeah, that whole line is still factory. Yeah. On the upper line, we had to replace, but it's pretty much it. It's really simple. It's not much. This to bay it. is packed full of stuff. I think. OEM plus, baby, looks good. Better than factory, in my opinion. And then, I, I don't know. 
YouTube, I mean, I was, YouTube I wasn't on the dealer floor. YouTube says but, YouTube says otherwise. But they're not so here. A mixture person. of uh, new school and old school. He's the old school on the new school, so. <laughs> 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 All right, boys. Uh, uh, isn't there a saying, um, can't, you, can, you can teach a no, old dog? No, no, no. You, you can, can't, no. The, the saying goes, you can't teach old dog old dogs new tricks. But you can teach the old, the new, old nah, dog new tricks you can't now. Teach, you can't teach the OG. <laughs> <laughs> fucking youngsters, man. You can't teach them nothing. <laughs> ch ch yo, chill, Mr. FMU. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I bet you some people watching this know what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna put the car up in the air. We're gonna get the engine underneath the car. We're still waiting on a few more parts, but we can get the engine in. Uh, waiting on an AC bracket to put the compressor on. Uh, waiting on a brand new oil pan, and then just small minor details. But the stuff that we're waiting on, we can put it. Uh, we can put it on while the engine's in the car. So you're gonna show them live, real time, or must put on the motor? In? I'm right here. I'm still recording. Cut it. I'm not gonna cut it. Yeah. I won't no, cut it. You didn't do your five minutes of work today, though. No, no, I'm, I'm here, you guys, for moral support, so I'm here to, like, you know, hype them up, you know, I'm the hype man, so I'm like, yo, yo, you're this the, looks great. The worst hype man. No? Right? I'm the greatest hype man ever. Look, you guys are halfway there. I might have to, I might have to cut this a little bit, because, like, I'm old, leave me alone. Last time you put a case swap in here, you damaged the valve cover. Or who damaged the valve cover? That's because uh, new school wasn't with old school. The disrespect going on here today, J-Rock, huh? It's alright, I'm used to this abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're gonna make them think we like whoop you in the back. <laughs> so don't, let them don't let them tell you that they don't whoop me. I get whooped as soon as this camera gets cut. They start <laughs> slapping me in the back of the head. <laughs> kicking me. Yo, they think we whoop you. They think we underpay you. <laughs> yeah, literally everybody in the comments been like, Yo, you need to pay J-Rock more. Like, you guys don't know how much J-Rock gets paid, yo. Today's, uh, I think, think J-Rock, today's Thursday. I got my paycheck already. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> you got mad singles. I'm good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, we're going to lower the car down. Put the case up in the car. Honestly, this car has been, like, it's been, it's been a process because the zinc, uh, everything took a little bit of time, uh, and then you like notice more things that you want to zinc. Like, I think they're leaving the zinc for us. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Uh, I, I'll put it right next to the f suspension for you guys, so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, Kev, let me get right here real quick. What do you guys think? Think leave the zinc fork or, or paint it black or powder coat it black? So that's one of the things, I don't know. But anyways, like I said, the uh, zinc stuff took a little while to get uh, because every time we go through the car, there's something else that we need to get zinced. And it's like, I think it's like a week process to get it done, but is isn't too bad. But we are almost there. Check you guys out, huh? It's tough, we should put the AC in last there. AC in last? Can you get the condenser um, in with the engine? You have to pull it back out. Need, hold on. You need some of that old school right now? He needs... He needs... He needs... He needs... He needs old school. Old school would have had this shit done already. Alright, go ahead. Yo. Please don't beat me when the camera turns off. <laughs> I didn't mean those things I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? It looks like he needs old school help, maybe a little bit. I couldn't. I couldn't imagine you guys, someone that's doing this at home without a lift. What the hell is going on right now? They ruined a unicorn. No, so I can't. You can't. I can't. No, 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 I see what's going on. Right? I see what's so, going on. What did, what did they do? I think we should just fire all three of them. They got I mean, I already, I'm with you on that. So where did they send you to just now? Um, Starbucks. Because what, they're old, right? They need more energy? Yep. They got extra, extra. How are you going to do me after I just bought Starbucks? That was half my paycheck to cover that bill. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what did they do to my, my unicorn? They ruined it. They ruined it, right? Hey, oh if you... Hey, knock, knock it out. <laughs> you can't be doing that. You can't be, uh, what do you call that shit? When you're feeding the something? Ten, ten minutes later, they needed a Starbucks break. Got the engine in. We're gonna put the passenger my, my, uh, driver mount on. Passenger one's on. J-Rock got yeah, it done before, the, before them. Did you get my icy hot? 
Yeah, I, see I see how you because it's, it's back. Three o'clock, so we booked you a chiropractor appointment. All right, it's, uh, <laughs> These mount, yo, this shit looks. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Let's check this out. This thing looks really good. I think I see a problem. What's the problem? Power steering clock. We might not be able to run power steering. We could just you can't. Hold what are you talking about? People run power steering all the time. It may be that pump though, maybe. Maybe got the wrong uh, power steering pump. You guys can see that the power steering pump is actually sticking up way too high. The back mount, I mean, we can't really judge it to a back mount in anyways. What, um, what? Oh yeah, the back mount's not on yet. That's true. That's true. should have just never ruined the clock. I agree. Oh I definitely agree with you. Yeah, I think the phone's ringing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off the What's the shop number? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so real quick, um, since I'm old school, look at what he's doing. Don't they, don't youngsters use like power tools? Why are you doing it? The old Guys, time? never use power tools on a transmission. You know why. What ends up happening? You end up crossing threads, right? I had to tap that because you were in there. No. But he is right. I'm not going to lie to you. So whenever you're putting mortar mount bolts in, or anything that like block bolts, any of that stuff, just he's use a ratchet. Yeah, look at it. He's going to torque. <laughs> you don't got a glizzy in here. <laughs> Get excited. They don't look excited, but the engine's in. I'm, I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even be this excited because the engine's in. I, I really wanted my single cam. But you gotta, you gotta get this view from the back. You gotta back up and just look at it. All right, hold on. Let, let me let me pull this. Uh, hold on. Uh, before I get this view. What's my model? What is your model? It's huh? better from the back. Oh. But, um, are we gonna have, before, let's clear sign up real quick. Are we gonna have a power steering issue or no? No. No? It's, uh... It's what? It's close, it's like a cut hair <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, so we, I thought we were gonna have a power steering issue. I don't know, I still feel that way, Where but... You close the hood, bro. Oh, you did? Yes, mm -hmm. it clears. But okay. Like, real, millimeters. real close? Yeah, I'm probably gonna... Check this view I'm out to though. Shave something up here. I don't want to cut the hood. Cause like really, it closes. But I know when we drive the car and the motor starts shifting, it's gonna. It might. It, touch it might yeah, it might touch. But check out this engine bay though. This thing just looks great. All the zinc. We might as well just zinc. We we were talking about this just joking around. Imagine if we zinc the whole chassis. We should do that one. I think we should. I, th I don't know if the zinc place is big enough. They have a big tank to drop the car in. I would zinc the whole chassis. Like Interior, thing. like everything. That sure would be crazy. It'd be insane. Put your sunglasses on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give you guys this full view. Damn, that's maxed out for me right there. But check this out. Imagine imagine the uh, AC power steering. Dude, can we uh, start a tradition? What's the tradition? Where's the pickles? <laughs> no, ain't no pickles going on in this. <laughs> We ain't uh, disrespecting this one? I mean, we could do popcorn. That shit was dope. No, I don't know. Fuck the popcorn. All right, I so, just want the viewers to see. Do you guys see my vision? Like, look at it again. Do you see my vision? It's there, but it's not there yet. It's not, it's not done yet, but it's, I'll bring it down for sure. It's there, it's there, but it's not there just yet. I'm it trying gives, to execute it, this as if Honda did this. It gives know? me the wow factor because all the zinc, it looks great, but it's there, but it's not. I think it'll be there once I see the stock air box here, uh, once I see a radiator. Once I see all the AC lines, compressor, and maybe the harness ran, then I might be there. There's two things that might not be OEM. What are those? The fans, the two fan shrouds. You might be able to get them in I there though. Know, you maybe. have a decent amount of clearance. Uh, we still gotta put the alternator and AC, so that's gonna be this so, is a tight package. So give us the give us the rundown of what's left on the car. And where, uh, like where do we stand, bro? Oh, me? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> Everything's left, the right? The part is done. Now it's just like the little nitty gritty stuff, which kind of sucks, but it takes the longest. Just like you said, the AC lines, put the radiator, plumb everything, run the wiring, charge harness, and trying to keep that factory look. I'm not going to so, lie to you guys. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but the car looks good. Like, now looking at you guys' vision, from when I first thought about it, like I wasn't with it, but the car looks great. Like I can't even lie, the engine looks, everything looks brand new, and the fact that it's gonna look like it's factory and came from Honda like this, it's really nice. Looks really good. I got the engine cover, the factory engine cover, factory coil cover, 
imagine that. I'm gonna make a custom heat shield in the back and it look like a factory manifold. That's insane. That's gonna be this magic touch and then the air box, stock air box. To top all that off, I think you should have left it four lug with the steelies and we could take this shit to some car shows. You know, people like, oh my god, it's the stock single cam. That would have been like engine like insane. It would have been like mind blowing. Yeah, you're right, I should have did that, but maybe we could have woulda. Shoulda coulda woulda. Maybe we could leave a stock height on uh, some ITR wheels or JDM wheels. How's that how's that shit gonna be in a pole? <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, that's pretty much it. Full shop update. Remember, we're going to World Cup Finals and we're going to Full Nationals. So if you guys are in the area, come check us out. Uh, and I'll leave you guys with that.